Let us now look at the fourth topic of this session. In this topic, in the previous topic, we have understood the various approaches to crafting a particular strategy. How a strategy is designed and developed. What are the various methods in which a strategy can be designed and developed. In this particular topic, we will look at the strategic management which consists of four basic elements that needs to be taken care in order to craft a particular strategy or design and develop a particular strategy. The first element is the environmental form of scanning. Environmental scanning becomes very very important because as we already studied the environment is always dynamic. So we need to go ahead and formulate a particular strategy which is in line with the changing environment. If, if we are coming out with a particular price let's take the example of a pricing of a product let's say the pricing of the product is is 100 rupees now if the pricing of the product is 100 rupees and the tax on that particular product is about 50 percent now it becomes very difficult to sell a product at 100 rupees when you have a tax of 50 percent levied on this particular as product so levying of tax becomes an environmental issue so we need to scan the environment because see what happens is an individual company cannot change the environment but a group of companies can definitely change or have an influence over the environment but many a times the environment can influence the company and change the company so it is very very important to understand how the environment is how the changes are happening in the environment we need to scan the environment before we formulate a particular strategy the second is the strategy formulation itself once the environmental sc scanning is done we have we have studied the environment we have understood the environment very very clearly when we have understood this environment we need to formulate the strategy according to the changes that that could occur in the environment or the existing environment let's say we have come out with a strategy a strategy should always be very flexible in order to adapt itself to various changes in the environment that happens the environmental scanning helps us to understand what is the probable change that can occur in future what are the changes that can be anticipated in future as far as the environment is concerned so it is very very important to scan the environment before we formulate a particular strategy once we have formulated the strategy it becomes very very important for the implementation of the strategy it is very clearly said that a very good strategy can also become uh, can also be uh, let's say improperly implemented can have an hazard over the organization it cannot give the desired result to the organization the strategy is very beautiful you have formulated the best of the best strategy however the implementation by the staff has not happened to the extent what the strategy should have been implemented or how the strategy should have been implemented in such circumstances the desired results will not be seen by the organization hence formulation of strategy is on one side where you need to have a good strategy to be formulated and then a proper implementation of this good strategy also becomes materialistically very very important if the strategy itself is very poor if the strategy itself is not formulated or designed or developed properly the implementation cannot take place properly or if the implementation is very good but because of the poor strategy because the strategy is not very very strong the, there is a failure in failure in the overall result of the organization because the strategy itself is very very poor and the implementation has been the best but since the strategy has been very poor the, even with the best of the implementation the results cannot be seen so hence we say that a formulation of a strategy based on the environmental scanning becomes very important at the same time the strategy formulation should be implemented very well in order to get the desired result once we have implemented this particular strategy it is not just that we just go ahead and implement a particular strategy and leave it for itself we need to understand what are the changes that this particular strategy the implementation of this strategy is creating in the market has there been a ripple that has been created in the market has there been the favor to the organization by the customers because of the strategy that has been implemented for example let me let me just give you a small example let's say there is there is an MBA college where in the previous year there's hardly any students studying in that particular college now it is very very important that a proper strategy be formulated depending upon the environment let's say this particular college is located in a very rural area and the infrastructure of this particular college is not very very good hence they need to understand that 
the infrastructure is not very good so probably the students are not ready to stay in that particular campus and study however there is an opportunity that students from the nearby areas could come and visit that particular college and study if they are not going to stay in that particular college so we need to formulate a proper strategy and that strategy that has been formulated needs to be implemented properly and then once it is implemented we need to evaluate the result out of this particular strategy to see as to what is the benefit that the organization is receiving based on the formulation of the strategy based on the implementation of this particular strategy so once we evaluate this particular strategy we understand the direction in which the organization is moving is it moving in the right direction or is there is a or is there a deviation from the desired direction that the organization wanted to hence it is very very important that we do the environmental scanning and then formulate the strategy according to the needs of the environment implement it properly and at the same time evaluate and have a proper control measure for controlling the strategy so that the direction in which the organization is moving is not against the desired result that it is looking forward for.